All right, so in this video, we're going to look at solving systems of equations by graphing. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take two equations, and we have them listed right here, y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals negative x plus 4. And we're going to figure out where do these two lines cross. So when we say solving systems of equations, what we mean is we have multiple equations. We're going to figure out where do they intersect. So let's start with the red equation there. And let's see here, let's grab my pen, there we go, and uh, we are going to start making a table here, and so we'll make an XY table, and I'm just going to start with, let's do like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and we might end up doing a few more, but we'll just start there. And so if I plug negative 2 in here, we have 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Okay, what if I plug negative 1 in? 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 1 is negative 1. If I plug 0 in, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is positive 1. Plug 1 in, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. And plug 2 in, we get 5. And these are going up by 2, and we should expect that because the slope is 2. So that works out well. All right, uh, next, the blue one, we have negative x plus 4 equals y. So let's make an xy table for this one. And we'll do the same numbers for x. We'll do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So negative, negative 2 is 2 plus 4 is 6. Negative, negative 1 is 1, plus 4 is 5. 0 plus 4 is 4. Negative 1 plus 4 is 3. And negative 2 plus 4 is 2. So while I have my blue pen here, I'm going to graph the blue graph. Negative 2, 6, which is right here. Negative 1, 5 negative, or 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, and you can kind of guess it'd be following this pattern right here. So if I do my best to connect these dots, we're going to have a line that looks something like this. A little slow going here, sorry. All right, so there's our line. Hopefully we get our intersection in that little part. If not, we'll extend the line out. All right, so then let's graph the red one. And we're going to graph negative 2, negative 3, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 1, 1, 3, and 2, 5. And so if I connect these dots, We've got our line, there we go. And right there is our intersection point. And you can kind of see that in our table. We've got 1, 3 here. And we have 1, 3 here as well. So what's our intersection? It's 1, 3. Now, um, this is kind of the old way of doing it. And uh, now that we have technology today that can do this for us, there's really no sense in doing it by hand, but I, we kind of want to show why uh, this works by hand first. But realistically, um, if you know how to graph, you should understand why this works. So I want to pull up Chrome, and what I'm at here is I'm at desmos.com. So you can just type in, you know, desmos.com. And you're going to hit graphing calculator. Being a little slow on me here. There we go. And so what I'm going to do is just type these equations in. So y equals, and let's go back to our presentation here. 2x plus 1 and y equals negative x plus 4. 2x plus 1 and y equals negative x plus 4. And look at that. Uh, it's 1, 3 is where they meet, 
And so that's your solution by graphing. So if we go back here, let's look at a couple more examples. And rather than coming up with a table each time and graphing them, let's, uh, let's just graph these on Desmos. So y equals negative 1 half x minus 5. And then 6x minus 2y equals negative 18. So what I'd encourage you to do here is just write these down and then hot head over to Desmos and, and type those in and see if you can get the intersection without me showing you how to do it. So I'm going to do it now. Let's head over to Desmos. And I'm going to get rid of these two equations. So I'm just going to X out of those. And we get y equals negative 1 half. Now, when you're typing in fractions, make sure to get out of the bottom of the fraction, because if I put an x here, the x goes in the bottom, and that's not what we want. You would just hit the right arrow to get out of there, or you could click over there. And then x minus 5. And then 6x minus 2y equals negative 18. Now, the nice thing about Desmos is you can type an equation in in standard form and it'll graph it for you. Whereas, you know, years ago we had to use a TI-84 graphing calculator, which still works fine, but you'd have to solve this one for y and get it into y equals mx plus b form. So Desmos is a lot more slick in that regard. And with Desmos, you can just click on the point and it gives you your solution. Whereas with a graphing calculator, there's a series of buttons you have to push in order to get that intersection point uh, to, to figure that out. So our intersection is negative 4, negative 3. So our answer to where do these lines cross is negative 4, negative 3. Pretty simple. Just let the technology do the work for you. If you are anti-technology, you can take all that time to make a table and graph it and find where they intersect that way. Or what we'll do is we'll look at a couple methods coming up on how to do this using elimination and substitution. So if you don't have a calculator or Desmos handy, then we'll show you a few methods coming up here in the next videos on how to do this algebraically. Let's look at one more quick example, even though you probably get the idea. But here are a couple of pretty interesting graphs, and they're a little bit more complicated than just the lines that we had. So I'll pause here for just a second, or you could hit the pause button and write these down. And we're going to go ahead and graph these in Desmos. I'm just finished writing them down so I don't have to toggle between the screens. All right, so there we go. And then we're going to head over to Desmos and we're going to type them in just the way we saw them. And once again, if you were using a regular old-fashioned calculator, this would be way more work because you'd have to solve it for y. You'd end up with uh, plus or minus. It would, it would be kind of a mess. So I'm going to type this in, x minus 4 squared over 25 plus, and then parentheses, y plus 2 squared over 9 equals 1. And there we have an oval or an ellipse is what we call that in math. And then we have y equals negative x, oops, forgot the parentheses, negative x minus 4 squared, oops, plus 1. So what do we have here? We have a parabola, the red thing, and an ellipse, the black thing. So where are our intersection points? Well, we can just click on there. So in this case, there are three intersection points. There are 4, 1, and 1 1.625, comma, negative 4.64. And I don't know if this is approximated or not, so these might be you know, approximate values. Um, of what Desmos is giving us, and then negative 4.64. So if it asks what are the solutions, all you have to do is, I'll just do a little screen grab here so that we can plop that into our uh, lesson here. So what are the solutions? Where do these two graphs intersect? Woo, it's pretty big, huh? But regardless, there are the three answers. And I'll make this a little bit smaller so we can fit it all on our screen. 
But there's our three answers. We have 4, 1, 1.625, comma, negative 4.64, and 6.375, negative 4.64. So whenever you're solving by graphing, all you're really doing is you're finding where these two graphs intersect.